Hi everyone, this is Josie from firstthecoffee.com. Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to make the Whitley crochet dishcloth. This dishcloth uses the front loop half double crochet and the paired single crochet stitches. If you don't know how to do these stitches, it's okay. We will go over how to do them in this tutorial. So the front loop half double crochet is also called the half double crochet front loop only. And I do abbreviate it as the half double crochet front loop only, which is HDC-FLO in my pattern. But the names can be used interchangeably and it's the same stitch. The finished size of this dishcloth is 8 inches by 8 inches. And this is the front side of the pattern where you can see the paired single crochet stitches that are framed by the front loop half double crochet stitches. And the back side does have a different appearance from the front. It is more of a ribbed appearance on the back, which can come in handy if you're using this to scrub something. Okay, to make this dishcloth, you're going to need a number four medium worsted weight yarn. Now I have used the Lily Sugar and Cream yarn for this, but you can use any medium worsted weight cotton yarn. You will need about 70 yards for one dishcloth. You will also need a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook pair of scissors and a needle to weave in your ends. And there is a free written pattern for this dishcloth available on my website along with all the information about the materials needed and I will leave a link for that in the description below. To start out, so you want to create your slip knot and then chain 29. And if you want to change the size of the dishcloth, your initial foundation chain can be any number that you'd like. All right, once you have your foundation chain, we're going to be starting with a half double crochet in the second chain from the hook. So this is the first chain and that's the second. So you just yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over again, pull up a loop. Yarn over again and pull through all three loops on your hook. Now for the next stitch, we're going to start our paired single crochet. So for this stitch, you're going to start by going back into the stitch you just worked. So you'll insert your hook, you'll yarn over, and you'll pull up a loop. Then in the next stitch, you'll insert your hook, yarn over, and pull up another loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. You'll yarn over again and pull through all three. So again, you'll just go into the stitch you just worked, pull up a loop, then in the next stitch, pull up another loop, then yarn over and pull through all three. And we're just going to repeat this all the way across with each stitch starting in the stitch that you just worked. And for the last stitch in the row, there's really nothing special with it. You're just going into the previous stitch and then again into that last stitch. So for row two, you're just going to want to chain one, turn your work. This does not count as an initial stitch. So we'll be going into this first stitch here. And this is where we're going to start doing the front loop only half double crochet. If you're looking from the top and you see these V's that the stitches create, this is the front loop and this is the back loop. We're only going to be going under just this front loop. So you'll be yarning over, going through this front loop and up between the two loops that create the V. And then you'll yarn over again and pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through all three. So this is all we're going to do all the way across. For the end of row two, it often looks like you've completed the row. But in order not to drop a stitch, you got to remember this first stitch here. So you'll just yarn over. Go up under that front loop to complete the row. And 
So then for row three, you're just going to chain one, turn your work, and for this row we're going back into doing the paired single crochet. So you're just going to want to do a half double crochet in that first stitch. So working back in that stitch you just put the half double crochet in and then in the next stitch we're just going to do that all the way across. And for the rest of this pattern it's just going to be alternating between the row of paired single crochet and the row of front loop half double crochets. So for the odd number rows you're going to be doing the paired single crochet and for the even numbered rows you're going to be doing the front loop half double crochet. And you will continue repeating these two rows all the way up through row 25. So your last row will be a row of the paired single crochets. And once you reach the end of row 25, you can go ahead and fasten off and weave in your ends.